Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are going to be going over uh, some gameplay. This will be the Decimus deck uh, that we're going to be looking at today. And also the strategy. This is a strategy for Blitz game mode. Obviously, once people start to get into the know and they know how to play this and all that different stuff, the strategy won't be as effective. Um, but it still will hang true for the overall uh, arcing gameplay it's it'll still be a thing but it won't be as easy to accomplish this uh but for now it is uh in the future i'm going to be coming out with deck profiles for my de all of the characters in halo wars 2 beta as well as i want to come out with um the gameplay of those decks it won't always be perfect but it is the plan to get some gameplay out of at least something close to the deck that i show you guys uh, a lot of fine tuning a little bit of fine tuning into each of the decks has gone in a little bit of trial and error and all of that different stuff but this is a 3v3 and let me start with the strategy here the best overall things to use is at least two ship masters with the marauder I believe it's called Assassin Starting Army, uh, so you get the double Marauders. I am using Decimus, so I don't have that. I've got uh, the Chopper, and I believe it's the four Grunts units. And so what you want to do here off the break, um, I'm playing the support role. They're playing the energy collecting role. And so what I'm going to do here is make a quick move towards B. I see he's going to beat me, so I go and I change my course of action to C. You want to just hold one point at the beginning here. Uh, it makes it easier. Uh, you're not losing as quickly. The enemy's not getting as many points. And if you can play it right uh, as I take C, they could have taken A and we could have scored a couple of points here, uh, but it's not a big deal. You can see they're pushing up from behind onto C with their uh, Warhogs. They also dropped in, I believe, ODSTs there. And so I'm going to call in a Marauder here and try to hold them off. Really, my job here at the beginning is simply just to uh, distract, hold the... Hold one of the points, which is C right now, um, and really just kind of sit here, distract them, do what I can. Um, I probably should have called my war to, Marauder War Chief in there and get the boost, but I believe this was before I realized that his boost is permanent, like he's always going to be boosting. I thought for a while there, it was just if you put him down and you boosted him, he would he would just boost those units and that would be it. You can see I got in there and snagged the uh, energy. My teammates have been grabbing energy this whole time you can see we're getting plus 71 plus 0.71 per second um you start out at zero i believe but it's not actually zero you are getting a sum and then after your first energy collect you get up to 0.24 and then after that you get up to i don't know it's not a big deal but you go up and then you're making more money than your opponents which is the whole point of this is that you make more money than your opponents you get a bigger army and then you just overwhelm them um, so we're going to let the score tick all the way up to around one, somewhere in between 130s and 170s. 170s a little late, uh, but we did make it work one time with a really nice push. Uh, so it, it's not impossible at 170, but it's not, it's not perfect. And so we're just currently building our army at A. Now personally, the best place I believe to hold is A. There are three energy spawn points behind A, and they frequently drop there. A lot of the time, three out of the six or three out of the five drops will be behind A. So if you control that, it makes it really nice and easy. So keep that in mind. But after the initial two drops, that one drops for your team, one drops for theirs, what you need to know is that the one will drop behind C every time. And so that's an interesting one that you should look at. You can see right here I'm separating my speed units so that when an energy drop happens, I can send them in to grab uh, at least a little bit of the energy as we sit here. And we're trying to wait uh, for the second drop of energy. We usually at least drop, we at least wait for two drops of energy. Sometimes if we play it right, we can drop in, um, we can wait and we can get three three drops of energy I believe I don't know if we're gonna do it this time but you can see I'm sending my guys out to get the energy but they actually did a pretty decent job in this one um, the enemies actually kind of uh, were prepared for the energy they went and got the energy on their side but it's still not a big deal we're at plus 105 I believe they're probably a plus 7 1.71 and you see I rushed in there and grabbed B real quick just to give us a little bit of extra time uh, buying us a couple of seconds I believe I got nine points out of that but that was nine points we were scoring and they weren't uh so that's why i did that slowing down the game a little bit buying us a few extra seconds and uh, i believe we're going to wait here and we're going to give it a push but you can see we're clustering all of our troops up here 
Um, I'm going to drop, I'm going to use my boost here in just a second. I'm going to drop my Marauder War Chieftain. And I'm going to drop, um, I'm going to drop, uh, what's it called? The, the, the Fury boost. Uh, and then we're going to push in here. Uh, that's just what you want to do. You can see uh, the score getting a little bit more lopsided, but you can see all the money that we're starting to collect. It's more... It's more prevalent as the Shipmaster when you're playing as him. That's the deck you want to have for this. I just like to play support with Decimus, so that's why I go ahead and use Decimus. Um, but really running three Shipmasters is probably best. And then you have the Scarab Assault. Um, I actually made the edit to the deck. I no longer have the Scarab Assault in my um, in one of my in my uh, Decimus support deck. I don't have it. But you can see here we go. We're about to push in. I don't actually have the Fury card. Um, but I do have the Marauder War Chief and Boost, and you can see as our armies move in here, they're just so much bigger than the enemies. Uh, it's pretty much GG, and usually my teammates are going to have Scarabs waiting in the wings, um, and pretty much that's just GG. The Scarab is better than the Condor Strike, in my opinion, like a lot better. Um, and here you go, this is one thing you need to pay attention. Even mid-fight, you need to pay attention and go and grab these energy cores that's what i'm doing right now um there's their condor unit in uh, i believe we just wipe it off the field uh they're much easier to take care of and one of the major cards in this is the blood field locust um and the regular locust because they can shoot from such a, dis a distance but really the main things with the deck composition for this is you need to have fast units with marauders ghosts choppers um special variants the terror choppers such as that uh, just so that you can go ahead and beat the enemy to different collectors. You can leave them at the collectors. They're fast. They can pick them up. They can move. If you need them to go, like, quick capture B if everybody moves off, it's really nice. They can take care of that. Uh, here I'm just dropping in things and putting them at the points just in case. Um, I'm going to move this guy up to take that because they're not paying attention. Uh, that's a lot of times what happens is if you're in a major fight, one of you can really take advantage by just simply paying attention. And uh, you can go and get the cores while everybody's fighting. Um, and right there, I get in there. It's really hard to actually nab if you're not the one that blows it up. Um, you can kind of sneak in there and get the blow up uh, and then steal the energy. Um, but it's kind of hard. I just went to see to contest it to just get us like, a bias a couple extra points. Um, and you can see we have our Scarab called in, and it's just kind of chaos down there. I have my Scarab available now. Right now, I'm just trying to select all my units so I can move them back to A uh, to make sure that we can defend A. Uh, that's one thing you really need to pay attention. Um, I like to have one of us keeping an eye on... Usually, it's me keeping an eye on both, but to make it easier, I would kind of delegate it. One person keep an eye at A, make sure they're not pushing... Uh, that because smart people sometimes will push a and then you get kind of caught in this middle thing where you're at b or you know if you're at c you're caught at b and then you need to run back to c uh c is the best uh to hold because in that little gap you can have a, a kodiak or locust that can shoot both b and c so not only can they can support your attack on b you can hold they can help hold c is really the main thing there uh, but the one on a just get, have someone keep an eye make sure they're not pushing out a spawn quickly running towards a uh, also have someone you know watching for more energy cores to drop and then going to gather those energy cores you can see we have I have 450 energy right now uh, it's pretty much GG to them there's not really anything they can do um, because all of us probably all of us have this much energy we're just waiting. I'm just throwing these guys down to get the cores when they drop here. Uh, those dents in the map where it looks like a meteor has crashed in, that that those are the core drop spots if you did not know. So that's the kind of places you want to be. Um, you can see they try to push out here. This is a lot of times what we do. We're going to push completely in. We're going to abandon B. We're just going to wipe out whatever army they're building at C. I have my Scarab Assault, so obviously we will drop that down as well as I have my Boundless Fury and Marauder War Chief. Uh, so it's pretty much rip. They drop their Scarab, not a big deal. Um, I think here we were talking, sometimes I'll drop my Scarab, sometimes I won't. Um, on When they drop theirs, he's just going to run away because if you didn't know, the Scarabs are timed. Um, I'm going to drop my War Chief then, which actually does boost the Scarab, I believe. As well as I'm going to call in my Boundless Fury, uh, which also is going to boost everything. Um, and then, oh, I think I 
I think they called it, one of my teammates called in his Garrup, sorry. And then I'll call mine in right there. Uh, so we got fully boosted up troops, and we've got two Scarabs sitting on C. Um, they have one Scarab in, but it is already taken out. Um, the Locusts do a great job of uh, just sucking Scarabs dry. They just, um, what am I trying to say? They, the Locusts, the Blood Fuel Locusts can, are stealing health while doing damage to the Locusts. It's just a really nice... Uh, thing we get, we clear out that co or the that Kodiak sitting up there, and now I'm gonna call in some troops onto B just to make sure they can't rush in and grab it, uh, just to kind of stall it out. But I think we noticed here it's pretty much over. They have no troops, uh, so I'm gonna go and collect this energy. No real reason. I'm gonna call in uh, a troop here because they were running towards B. They were gonna try to snag it. Not really that it would have helped them. It just we would have won a little bit slower. Uh, but that's really the strategy. You collect energy, get your economy up, and then you slowly, uh, you slowly build up an army, and then you just pretty much overwhelm them. You have more money, you can have more troops, and you just overwhelm them. Uh, as you can see, you can look at the energy collected. We collected a whole lot more. We we collected like 43, and they only collected 19. So clearly, we're gonna have huge economy. Uh, but guys, that's gonna do it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, check out my other Halo Wars 2 videos that uh, should be coming out. It's going to have some deck profiles, and then later that day, I'm going to probably split them up into two videos. There'll be a deck profile, and then there'll be um, a gameplay of something similar to that deck. So I will have a Decimus deck first. I'm going to do my Decimus deck, and then we'll have another Decimus gameplay. And they'll probably all be post-commentaries. I'd like to play 3v3s and 2v2s, uh, and most of the time we're not even talking about the game. We just... We'll talk and then we'll say, hey, we need to push now or stuff like that. But that's going to do it, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.